Hello everybody, we Rabbit here, and welcome back to Gravity Rush. Even though last time we finished the game, technically, there was still some uh, leftover stuff to do. So that's why this time, I'm already standing near the little mission marker, but we are going to start the Made DLC Part 1. And basically, there's... um. Three different costumes you can get. Each of them is tied behind some DLC. It is Maid, Spy, and Army. And we're going to start with the Maid one because I believe in the story that's the one you can encounter first. Of course, Legend. How does the Legend John? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sorry. Oh boy. Uh, Terrific's here with me. Say hello. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Terrific coming at you with another episode of. Gravity Rush, and yeah, no, we finished the main story, and we are diving into the DLC. All right. I just nice. want to see Cat in the sexy little maid costume, though. Nice. All right, the events that followed took place not long after Eli uh, Ilias made off with Aldor's sacred gem. My actions to protect the gem earned me the trust of the city's residents. So that's what I'm saying. So it would have taken place back then. See, so we're a little, mm -hmm. we're, we're coming around a little bit late, but it's fine. <laughs> but there was one man who still misunderstood me. That misunderstanding would lead to my brief career working for one of the wealthiest families in Old Noir. Old Noir. All right, so she's trying to gain some sort of trust. Oh, yeah, I remember these people. Remember we were in their house? <laughs> yeah. By the end, they seemed pretty happy with me, though. Maybe they were, like, giving me ice cream or whatever, so. Uh, Pops, I'm so c c cold. My nose won't stop running. My poor boy, are you coming down with something... Ah, I can't even provide a home for my family. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pops. I didn't mean me to complain. It's not your fault we lost the house. It's... Oh, he's looking at her like that. What? You're still blaming me for what happened to your house? Oh, I give up. What do you want from me? Money? Mm -hmm. You're well, finally going to accept some... I know, right? This is just throws like a joke at him. <laughs> yeah. There. Oh, so you're finally going to accept some responsibility? I know just the thing. Over at that mansion, they're looking for a new maid. The pay is good. A maid? That's not the kind of job that usually pays so well. What's the catch? Well, the husband's a famous writer. He's always out and about looking for new material to use in his stories. So the wife, well, she gets a little stir-crazy all alone in that big mansion. It's rough on the maids, and Melda chews through them like candy. Hmm, if only the husband wasn't out all the time, his wife wouldn't get so worried and scare off the hired help. Hey, us men need our space. We can't help who we are. <laughs> no, Algene probably can't help being Algene. All right, I'll give it a shot. I'm used to putting up with unreasonable people. That's what I like to hear. You know, I almost envy you. That lady Melda's a real looker. If I was a little younger, I'd apply myself. Oh, jeez. He'd apply to be a maid? Huh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Pop, so why would you want to work for some crazy lady? You'll understand someday, Yuji. So, Shifter, do we have a deal? See, what I'm learning is this like this man likes to stick his dick in crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's not mine. Uh, He's like, hey, 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 if I was younger, that, that's the one thing I would take. I don't even care if she's crazy. <laughs> So, Shifter, do we have a deal? Yeah, it's a deal. And she was like, it'll be nice to finally get these two off my back. All right, so where are we going next? Oh. They look so sad, look. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, I beg it over to that mansion Eugene was talking about. It's up there somewhere. Past the interview. Oh, boy, I wonder what the interview's going to be like. Mm. Like, do you have any experience? No. <laughs> <laughs> But I can float. You're hired. <laughs> oh, there's like a big old layer here. How am I supposed to get up there? Let's see. Uh, I have to go like this way first. Yeah, like, do you have any experience as a maid? No. Do you have any experience with cl uh, cleanliness? Uh, no, I live in a sewer. Sorry. <laughs> You're perfect. Right? She doesn't care. She just wants someone to like be trashing on, so she doesn't even care. Ding dong, I'm here for the interview. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old witch, the wicked witness. Let me stop before I get your copyright claim. Right? Hello, are you Melda, <laughs> the lady of the house? Yes, what do you want? I don't believe in charity, so if that's your game. Huh, charity? No, I'm here about thee. And those clothes, they look older than you. Why are you wasting <clears> my time? Stay your business or leave this instant. Well, uh, it's about the maid opening. Maid, you? Do I look so desperate that I'd hire any old riffraff that comes crawling off the street? Damn. Oh, huh. Well, I need the amusement, so I'll give you a chance. I even started working, and I'm ready to quit. You won't be disappointed, <laughs> madam. I won't hire just any old anybody. You better know a little about the city, or you're no use to me. Pass a simple test, and I'll consider you for the job. 
Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, so it should be all the noir. What animal is the statue that used to hold our town's sacred gem? Oh, God damn it. Was it an octopus? <laughs> no, uh, fish? No, no, no. Fish. Uh, well, is in the statue that used to... I want to say a pigeon. It was fish. It was fish. Oh, it was okay. fish. What is in the statue that stands in the town's fountain? A boy, cat, and a crow, maybe? I don't know. Because, you know, statue? cat and raven. I don't know. I'm sure. <sighs> Go for it. Boy, cat, crow. I think I think that's not right. What is needed to fuel city projects? Uh, should be energy gems? Is that what they're called? I think they're energy mm, gems. Yeah, go for it. That last one was wrong, damn it. You failure. Madam, I'm ready to give the interview another go. You really don't know when to give up. Fine, I'll give you another chance. Okay, so we are in Old Noir. Uh, I, I guess this was right, because it sounded it went ding ding earlier, so yeah. it was fish. A little fishy. And this one was Boy Frog Turtle. Turtle, turtle. Yep, yep, yep. And then these are precious gems. Vitality gem. Shut up. Vitality sounds better than precious, though. It doesn't. It's not stupid. What are you talking about? Precious oh, well, at least you know better. something. It goes against my very judgment, but you're hired. Thank you, madam. I'll do anything. I promise. Oh, no. Ooh, Hold anything. on just one second. You're not working for me in those rags. I expect you to arrive on time and properly dressed. Oh, made costume acquired. Oh, snap. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. She didn't get the magical girl transformation. Ooh. That's cute. You're the yeah. cat's looking at her like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd tap that too. That is <laughs> the cat's thinking. Jeez. <laughs> well, now that you at least look the part, you should burn those awful things you were wearing. Jeez. Thank you, madam. She's thinking, like, my clothes really look that bad. <laughs> yeah, wonderful house. I hear your husband's a famous writer. Is he here today? No, no, he's not here. He's never here. And even if he was here, he could be locked away in his study. I might as well be married to a ghost. I see. Your husband sounds very busy. Don't you get lonely in this big house? And don't you get tired of prying into other people's affairs? I don't pay you to ask questions. I pay you to work. Out front, you'll find some knickknacks that you're tired of. Take them around back so the garbage people can haul them away. And don't lollygag. I hate lollygaggers. Yes, I mean, no, no I won't lollygag. Why she just dump that stuff out for back in the first place? Maybe she can't lift it, cat. I mean, it's too heavy for her, right? Jeez. <laughs> Move the junk in time. Oh, crap. I just noticed that there's a, there's a whole thing going on. Whoops. Oh, we can't. It only moves like one thing at a time. Uh, oh, crap. You know what? Uh, as you're doing that, when she said married to a ghost, it made me think of uh, the, sixth, the sixth sense. Did you see that? I went too high and it triggered the thing. Huh. So that sucked. I thought I could like float up and then float like down. Nope, nope, that's cheating. Somehow. <laughs> I don't but, know if I'm um, able to move everything in time because that was kind of like a good way to like move stuff, you know? I guess they want you to use your mind. Oh boy. But it reminded me of the sixth sense where literally the guy, you know. Spoiler alert, he's dead. And it, it, what it shows him at dinner with his wife, and she's like not talking to him at all. And it's like he's been dead for a whole year. He hasn't seen any like indication that, you know, he's dead. And like, because obviously the wife can't see him. So has she legitimately not been talking to him for a whole year? And he's just like, man, what's where's our marriage going? Well, no, Things used to be different. They, they, they explain that, uh, Part of the whole thing about being a ghost is that you can't tell, because like everything's like like the way like time works is just weird for him. Mm -hmm. So even though he should have probably been able to tell something was up, for some reason he just couldn't tell because time was just weird. He would skip from like thing to thing, and he wouldn't notice that he wasn't living like hour by hour. You know what I mean? Nah, man. He should have noticed. Uh, sure. Ten out of ten, bad movie. That's ten out of ten, said. bad movie. <laughs> 10 out of 10. A little something for everyone. Yeah, yeah. This, what is it? Verified, verified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> nice. 
We should we should make our own movie review studio. Seeing as how we've gone through like all the Pokemon movies. No, we haven't. Nah, we've I, I called um Game Freak well Pokemon and asked them to like pull the movies that we haven't seen. So we've gone through all of them now. Jesus. Nice. Yeah, we're not gonna do it in time. I wasted too much time at the beginning, I think. <sighs> Cause you can only grab like one thing at a time, which is really weird. Yeah, no. Dang it. What have you been doing this whole time? I warned you about Lollygaggy. You're fired. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right, let's try it again. It's fine. We don't need her anyway. Move Come the on, Dusty. <laughs> and then you know, Kat like, just like leaves. I mean, technically she doesn't need to. She's just doing this as a favor to that one guy to, I guess, get money and give it to him. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, she can only grab like one thing at a time. It's so annoying. Hey, right here, look. You think she can grab both? Nope. So yeah, it's a little weird considering that cats literally used her gravity powers to lift more than one thing before. But I guess that's just debris because uh, she can only lift one human at a time. No, she's lifted more people at a time. And that's just by randomly floating. Exactly. Like, you so remember I... when they would get caught up in your little gravity pool? Exactly. So I don't get it. But it looks like I can only grab one thing because I kept trying. You saw I would click it again next to the stuff, and she would still just move the one thing. So, yeah, yeah that sucks. Yeah, I'm trying to just go back and forth, see if this helps. Yeah, see right there. Why does she grab more than one thing? She only grabs one thing. I'll tell you. Watch I find out it's because we like needed to like upgrade the move for it to like work better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably like, that explains it. <laughs> that makes so much sense now. It all comes together. Just like your face. No. Like why why you gotta be so mean? Because you deserve it. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Uh, I think I can make it, but dang, it's gonna be yeah, you got it. A little bit clutch. Listen, clutch is all you know. Yeah, dude, you had plenty of time. Oh crap! Up the drop that <laughs> it didn't. That is bull. You saw that. Oh, that sucks. Uh, wait, are you ever gonna be able to finish it? I don't know. I guess if you go to pick it back up, you will. Yeah, yeah. but it sucks because I'm barely. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I think barely will have enough time if yeah. I can do it. I think you'll just barely make it. Alright, go, go, just just jump off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what? Dude. Uh, it's somehow getting, did you see that? <laughs> nice. It like triggered it. Okay, sure, I guess. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, Well, that's done. Now I need you to bring me something sweet. I can't get cranky without my sweets. I'm sure. Uh, What do you want me to bring you? The mail this special Sunday. It's my own concoction, a mountain of vanilla ice cream topped by a gourmet cookie, smarter than a rich jam, and sprinkled with flakes of bitter chocolate. If it wasn't for the jam, maybe. Because jam's got another flavor, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. You bring me exactly what I want, no mistakes. Uh oh. Okay, so it was vanilla with a gourmet cookie, rich jam, and bitter chocolate flakes. All right, so here, I'll, I'll write it down. I'll hook you up, homie. All okay, right, real quick, yeah. Alrighty, so you said, uh... Yeah, so she said a mountain of vanilla ice cream. Okay, vanilla. Uh, and then she said a gourmet cookie. Gourmet cookie, and then rich, uh... Jam. Gourmet cookie, and rich jam. Oh, All right. and, then, and then flakes of bitter chocolate. Oh, flakes of bitter chocolate. Oh, and then right there for gourmet cookie, it's mint chocolate cookie. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense because the gourmet mint chocolate cookie. Oh, god damn it. I don't like the jam at the stand with the guard dog. God damn it. All oh, right, so geez. we need jam, rich jam from guard dog. Oh boy. All right, from guard dog. Oh boy, the bitter chocolate flakes must be of the highest quality. They need to come from that store that always has the young woman lined out the door. Uh, bitter chocolate with young woman. Uh, how about with line of young woman? You said with the what? Oh, okay. Line. This line is young of... woman lined out the door. 
Young oh, lined boy. women. Oh boy. I like how Kat just abbreviates it like, all right, ice cream cookie in jail. Like she said all that stuff that she wanted. She's like, nope, you're not. We'll, we'll just get what we get. At least we're not being timed yet. God damn it, Kat, just go. Go, damn you. <laughs> so I'm getting caught on stuff. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. I'm here to pick up an order for Melda. So you're the new help, huh? All right. I got the order right here in the special box. It says, got the ice cream now for the cookie. Okay. So this is going to melt. Okay. So cookie, cookie, cookie. It's not going to give me any <laughs> advice. Okay. Thank you. So cookie is a gourmet mint cookie. Yep. Gourmet mint chocolate cookie. Yes. So it's going to be in this area, I guess. And then we have to try to decide. Uh, she didn't specify the jam and, and the flakes were the ones that were for some, for like something specific, right? What yes. in the hell? She like melted oh. through the floor. Okay. That was weird. In that case, was, you didn't some... know that that was just a new uh, upgrade for her power? <laughs> Excuse me. Can I get a cookie? Uh, Turn that sure thing, little miss. Which number of famous cookies would you like? Where's the options? It is the mint cookie triangle. Thank you very much. Come again soon. Okay, now for the jam. So which way is the jam? Come on, help me out, help me out, help me out. With the guard dog. There we go. Yeah, the jam has to be rich jam from the place where there's a guard dog out front. Whatever that means, but. Whee! I'm guessing it must be a pretty fancy place to just have, you know, a guard dog 24-7, maybe. Guess so. Okay, it says there's so many stands. So it's wondering how the dog out front. Okay, this one has a dog, but is that a guard dog? Let's keep looking. That should be it, yes. Wait, how about that one? Anything special about this one over here? No. So oh, she was with the dog. I she was with the dog. I call Bull if she carries all the, you know, all the foods back, <laughs> like, uh, at once, even though she had know. to pick up. Well, I think she puts it in the bucket or something. I don't know. Okay, now I have to find the chocolate. So the chocolate will be uh, bitter chocolate flakes from a place where there's a line of young women, right? Okay. Yes. Oh, God. How do I even get there? down here somewhere okay this way and this way we we okay this has a lot of young women here uh this has and they men. are lined up okay so this is the first one it's the closest one because these are men makes men and then women so it's this one there we go all young girls i need to appear this must be the place hopefully there's not like one like around the corner is the right one that'd be so bad <laughs> uh, i need some chocolate you come to the right place best chocolate all of all there all the sweet and the bitter Bitter here, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's it, perfect. Now, which is the way back? Oh my god, get out of the way. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, crap. It's gonna be the same thing where it's like just the ceilings on the top. I need to like go around. Ah, everyone's in the way. <laughs> Damn you, people. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just fling them out. Use your gravity power. This cannot be good for the ice cream that I'm just like <laughs> doing zero gravity with it. Pretty sure those cookies are gonna get crumbled up too. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Here's your ice cream. <laughs> Crushed up. <laughs> I brought you this melted special Sunday, madam. Ah, huh, madam, are you okay? Please, you gotta help me. I opened a window to air out my husband's study, and five pages of his latest manuscript went flying right out of it. I can't let them fall into the wrong hands. Oh boy. But I just got back. What do you want me to do with the Sunday? Who can eat ice cream at a time like this? It's the latest issue of my husband's Kiruru cereal. You have to get it back. Y yes, madam. She doesn't want the ice cream. I'll take it. <laughs> fucking, fucking cat. <laughs> of course he would, cat. Uh, cat's, yeah. cat's great. Yeah, she is. Okay, so cat or um, oh, what's her name? Shantae. The like, most adorable protagonist. Uh, Shantae's still what cuter. We've seen. Okay. Shantae's still cuter. Cat's pretty cute, but Shanti's still cuter. 
How do I get this I one? I think you're a little biased. Yes, probably. I think you're just like a fanboy for uh, Shantae. Oh, it might not be the right. right Watch this, not even the right manuscript. Yeah, I don't think the right. I think the right thing. She's picking up random pieces of the paper. Well, I mean, you got two out of five, so close enough. Oh, I skipped it. It was like a really steamy story, and the cat's looking at her, and she's like, <laughs> "What? I'm not interested in this stuff. I'm just like collecting it." The cat was giving her a look. That's pretty funny. Yeah, apparently the guy's writing like an erotic novel. That's pretty funny. Ooh. I, I like the way he thinks. You think he'll give us a free copy? That'd be cool. And we did help save the pages from flying away, right? Yeah. All right. So it's just put it near the mansion. Oh, yeah. Here's just one. be like, listen, if you don't want this to go into the wrong hands again, get, give me like all the free copies. All right. One more. Where could it be? Where could it be? Because it kind of gave me a hit with the other one. See how this one's not really telling me? Let's see. This is too far. Yeah, see, I need to check near the mansion first. What could the last one be? There we go. Oh, that's a weird nice. spot. Um. There we go. Oh, yes, this is the next piece of the other story. I better look it over just to be sure. She licked my face, seeking me out like a hungry beast. Oh, so geez. beautiful. Covered a thick fur hair, coat of hair like a... A what? She shook her tail in anticipation. Wait, tail? When I saved that poor straight off from the streets, it might have ended her... Save her life. But in the end, she said, Oh, see, it's not like it was like a really steamy story. <laughs> it's about saving a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> look at cat. Oh, She's like funny. ellipses. That whole thing was about a dog? I mean, of course it was just about a dog. <laughs> She's all disappointed. Now I better find the last page of that missing manuscript of Zelda. <laughs> hey, why can't you be more friendly like that dog in the air story? Oh my god, I can't freaking read this erotic novel being all like, hmm, what's happening here? <laughs> Man, she got all steamy for nothing. Yeah, she was getting all like, ooh. She was getting the vapors. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> She's getting the vapors and then... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love how the cat was just looking at her, too. The cat was like, uh-huh. Cat's just judging, and that's pretty, that's, pretty, that's pretty funny. I mean, the cat should be judging. There we go. Here we go. It's the fifth and final missing page in the Gyu Rare story. Wait, now that Soothsayer is having a flashback, does this thing ever move forward? Who cares about some old hag? What about Gyu Air? And who's this new character being introduced? It would take a magician to wrap this up. Oh, well, someone must be enjoying it if the author can afford a big mansion like that. I better give mm -hmm. these back to Melda. She's not too fond of this story, but she likes their story. All right, let's see. Madam, I have all five of those missing pages in your husband's latest Guerre story. Well, your performance today was tolerable. <clears throat> I suppose you expect to get paid here. Wow, look at all this money. I can pay back Eugene with some to spare. Thank you, madam. I'm expecting big things from you. I may not be the easiest woman to work with, but I appreciate your efforts. She can be nice. I, I won't let you down, madam. Huh. All right. Cool, cool, cool. My first payday, and yeah. I don't get to keep any of it, but I promise is a promise. I right, head back to Algin. Cool. So I wonder how many times we'll have to do this. Maybe like over the course of like three days or something, I would guess. Probably. Why is this is it? I'd be like really short. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I would guess like three days, because it did say part one, you know? Yeah. And I mean, this would make this DLC like super short. Uh oh. What? Oh, okay, no. You know what you're doing. I thought that's just gonna hop into the void. <laughs> How? Where's Algene? May he die, hopefully. Oh, me. <laughs> Hope he died. Uh, now I get little... to keep the money. That little girl's crying. I wonder what happened. Hey, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I dropped the money I needed for mommy's medicine. She's real sick and it's all my fault she won't get better. Well, I've got some money. Here, take it. You need it more than I do. Really? That's You do that for me? Thank you, miss. Uh, I, mean, I understand giving the little girl some money. Why'd you give her... What? Why, why'd you give her everything? Yeah, like, what the heck, man? 
Yeah, what are you doing? Know, she didn't even know she didn't even know she needed that much. Like Oh yeah, I'm guessing by the alpha you got the job. How much money did you pull down today? Well, I got the job and I put in a good day's work. But there was this girl and she was crying, so Well, you gave her the money. What about us? Yeah, what about us? You like giving money to sell little kids? How about I start crying for you? Sniff <laughs> sniff. Oh, for the love of who I help with my hard earned money is my business. Here's an idea. Why don't you two get a job? I mean, she has a point. Damn. She All makes right. a very good point. My first day as a maid was over. Melda was a tough mistress, and the job wasn't easy. But the feeling of accomplishment when I held that first paycheck in my hand was undeniable. Who would have guessed that my new job and my associate with Melda would draw me right into the middle of a scandal? Oh, no. But that's another <laughs> story for another time. Oh, boy. All right, cool. All right, so Not that's bad. it for part one. Uh, that's pretty good. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a few parts then. So that's it for part one, and it's just something about scandal. So I guess we're gonna find out uh, what happens with this little side story then. Pretty cool. All right, that's probably that's probably where we're gonna stop for right now though, folks. But if you like, just saw, comment, subscribe, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you, Triffin, for being here. Yeah, man, no problem. And next time we're gonna continue, and we're gonna see what scandal it's talking about, and what else this crazy lady makes us do. So pretty cool. Okay. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.